Hello YouTube. Today we're going to learn how to create an OLAP cube using a Spago BI server and a Spago Meta versions 5.0. In order for these two programs to work correctly, uh, you have to change your environmental variables. To do so, you go to this PC, properties, advanced settings, and sorry environment variables and you have to change java home and path what are you going to write here you're going to write the address of your jdk of java you must download java 7 for this to work for example my java 7 is located here see program files Java and his JDK and this is what we're going to be writing on the environment and variables and now we go to here properties and settings environment and variables and we change it here and same in path you see it? The difference in path, you have to add bin at the end. And that's it. Once we got that all done, we proceed to open our BI server, which is here. We go to bin, and then we go to Spago BI startup. And we wait a long time. <laughs> it's really slow. While that happened, we can open our uh, all our Spago BI Meta. I already have it all. Okay. What we need to create first is our project. So we go here, new Spago BI project, and we name it. We can name it Video Tutorial tutorial finish okay once we have created our project the next thing we have to do is go to data source database connection and create our connection to the database uh, we're going to extract all the information from okay now all of this so click new right click new and my database where i'm extracting all the information is located in my sql i'm going to show you the model and you'll see what are we going to do so this is our model we got five tables we got a table seller table city table um uh, payment form and this table name client and uh, this table, center table, will be our cube, which takes all of the primary key from all of those tables. And well, that's our model. And as I already said before, is on my SQL. So we select the driver of my SQL and name it. I will compare my SQL, my SQL video connection video com that's gonna be our name we click next uh, here we write the name of the database I'm gonna show you the name of my database oh I'm sorry here is this one Estrella so we have to write that here and here this is my username and I don't use I don't use a password and we test the connection being succeeded so it's working fine we go next we go finish and there you have it we got our connection we verify that tables are there and voila the tables are there 
Okay, once we got that, <clears throat> we need to create a business model. New model. And we name it uh, model. Can name it cube model. Go next. We select the connection that we already created, which would be this one. It brings the name of the database. We go next. We select all the tables that we're gonna be using. We need all of them. So select all of them. Next, same here for the business class. We need all of them. Finish. And seems pretty good, pretty easy so far. And what we're gonna go do here is to create the dimensions of the cube. <clears throat> All of these tables would be the dimensions and the table fact would be our cube. <clears throat> I'm sorry. To create dimension, we right click, we go to All App, Create Dimension, All App, Create Dimension for all of them. But the table fact is gonna be our cube. Okay, now we need to create the hierarchy, the hierarchies. What are the hierarchies? The hierarchies is tell us the information that is going to be displayed in this Pago BI server, in the report model. So we don't want to display a code, we actually want to display the name of the city. So we select and we click OK. I mean, if we want to display the code too, we can select them too, but yeah, we won't be doing that. We're just going to import the names. OK. For the table client, we do the same. Um, hierarchies, add hierarchy, name of the client, and OK. OK. For the payment form, we do the same. And okay, and okay. Same for the seller. Okay, once we got that, we need to do some relations. So we go to edit, go add a bond relationships. And we need here to select the same name of the business class to the target class. And we select them. Code city with code city. And add the relationship, num city, num city, add the relationship. And same for all the tables, body table fact. Edit, outbound relationships, table client, table client. Okay, I think we're all done. The last thing we need to do is to create a cube. So this is the this, the main table and this is going to be our cube. Create cube and we can check these all are all um, foreign keys and primary keys and this is our measure um, column. This is what we're going to measure. So right click, add measure. Okay, I think we're all set. Next step is to create our module and template, which is going to be our a, 
XML file that is going to be allowed to the BI server. So create more template, we select the project we're working on, and we select all our templates, we uh, write a name, give it a name, to put model template, model template, whatever. We go finish. And here we have it. Now we need to open this and edit some stuff because the software have a bug that create that create this file with some errors and we need to fix them manually. So he, here are the the errors. This is not uh well edited. We need to write through here and here and here and here all right team good okay i think this is oh no we need to do one last thing add a server this is the connection with the BI server. So we right click new server and we give it a name. Uh, server Spago BI. The URL is this is the URL. I'm gonna show you what's the URL. If you're working locally, this is the URL. Oh, sorry, just this. The user is going to be by admin. And the password is going to be the same. And we're going to test if it's working or not. Test successful, yay. We're doing great, guys. And finish. All right, guys. When we have to open the Spago BI server, we need to add a data source. So we go here, data source. We go to the add button, and we name it. It's gonna be tutorial data source. That lake is my SQL because I got that database on my SQL server and the URL is this one. The driver is this one. Okay, these two Mm, strings they differ depending on what um, database server you're using I'm using my SQL so I have to use this if you don't know what what, what to write here just can google it <laughs> if you're using Postgres or, or whatever uh, the user is root and I'm not using any password and that's it, we test the connection here. Data source currently tested. And we add, save it, and we save it there. Okay. Okay, this is the last step. We need to uh, deploy our OLAP template. So we right click here, deploy OLAP template. We give it a name. Uh, hmm. Good. Uh, the tutorial. The tutorial. Hold up. We don't need to add a description. We select the data source that we created in the Spago BI server. And we go finish. We go OK. 
And now we can go to Spago BI server. We go to this folder thing. We go to be admin and there it is. Tutorial all up. And that's it.